Let's talk helmets. What up, BB fam? This is Carlos with Indiana BB Riders. Today I wanted to talk about what I consider is the most important body part we all need to protect while riding. Our nugget, la cabeza. Recently, I have noticed so many posts on the Facebook groups about fellow e-riders riding without a helmet and getting badly hurt. That to me is just crazy that you're gonna be out there riding on a scooter that can go 15 plus miles per hour, some of them 20, 30, 40, even 50 plus miles per hour, and not be wearing one of these. But hey, to each his own, I'm not here to judge. Obviously, in the world of helmets, we got so many choices, colors, flavors, and prices to choose from. For instance, you're gonna have your traditional uh, skateboard bicycle helmet. My son used to ride with this before he got his 09. Obviously, now he rides with one of these. The problem that I have with this kind of helmet is that it offers very minimal protection. I guess if you're riding, joyriding in your neighborhood, going anywhere 10, 13 miles per hour, this might offer some protection, but not in my opinion, I guess. The problem that I have with this helmet is that if you fall sideways, it's most likely to shift on the fall. The obvious one, if you fall face first, which it happens a lot on scooters when it happens, there's no protection. And this is gonna be one expensive trip to the dentist and the ER probably. So now my first choice. Today I wanted to talk about what I consider is optimal, which is in this case, a full face helmet that not only is full face, it also offers MIPS or MIPS protection. All right guys, this is my own helmet. I have been riding with this helmet for eight months now and so far I've been very happy with it. It's very comfortable and I am very sure that it will do the job in the event of a fall. Hopefully I never have to test that theory. On a side note, I wanted to tell you guys and encourage you to get a camera on your helmet that is not used for content creation but it's more there just for safety reasons. In the event that God forbid we get into an accident, this can prove that you're not a fall. Also a hit and run, this might be able to get some help in it. Or in the event you get pulled over, you get questioned by an officer, then you'll be able to record similar the way they do it with their body cameras. I know myself, I'm always gonna write responsibly and it breaks my heart when I see some writers out there being irresponsible and giving all of us a bad name. But again, I recommend a camera that you keep it there. I keep this on a loop to make sure that I'm recording my entire trip. I don't check this ever. I just want to make sure that it's working, obviously. But I use this only in the event I get into an accident or some, or some sort of issues while I'm out there riding. What is MIPS technology? MIPS stands for Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. MIPS uses a slip plane system that moves inside the helmet, mimicking the brain's own protection system. This layer is designed to rotate inside the helmet with the intent to potentially slow or reduce the amount of energy transferred to or from the head. A MIPS equipped helmet looks almost identical to a non-MIPS equipped helmet, except for when you look inside, you will see a thin yellow liner between the pads. From the outside, the only indicator that the helmet is any different to one without MIPS is that some brands have a small yellow MIPS logo on it. You won't even feel the difference wearing a MIPS equipped helmet, by the way. All right, my BB family. I hope this video was somewhat helpful as I take safety very seriously. I'm not only responsible for my own face and brain, but I'm also responsible, most importantly, for my little guys. Remember, we do not wear safety gear because we want to look cool. Although I've seen some really, really sick helmets recently. I saw a Predator the other day. 
I saw an Iron Man, that one was pretty cool. And on the Facebook groups, I seen a few uh, Venom helmets. Those are pretty cool. But remember, we wear this to protect us in the event of an accident. That's why me personally, my choice is a full face helmet with MIPS technology. But that's just me. Also, last but not least, I wanted to thank you all so much because Indiana PEB writers just reach a hundred subs. What, what? Thank you guys so much. I wanted to ask you as well in the comment section if you guys could leave some comments and some healthy advice and any tips to all fellow writers on your opinion about safety and helmets itself. Thank you guys so much and please, please, as always, write safe, have fun doing it, and please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm out.